Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Tanzeer Mirza. Today we will see one shuffling algorithm. By shuffling I mean rearranging the elements of an array to get the different permutations. So today we will see Fisher Yates shuffle algorithm. It's a pretty easy and quick algorithm to get the different permutations of a given array. Just reshuffling the elements here and there. Okay. So the idea is to, the technique is to pick the last element of the given array and then swap it with the element at a randomly selected index and we'll keep on doing that we keep on doing that till we reach the very first element in the array okay so without wasting any time let's just jump to the coding part go to the documents and quickly create this file okay, fisher i'll call it fisher java and then i'll open this thing in the IntelliJ ID. Okay. This being done. Quickly I'll create the class. Fisher Yates. Okay. And the main method will go here. That I'll just leave it like that. Just leave it empty. I'm going to create a method called we'll call it let's say randomize okay and i don't want to instantiate anything just before that i would like to uh, run this as a static method so i'll just do static void randomize and we'll provide one array int n In fact, instead of n, let's make it more descriptive. This is the length. Okay. Now what we'll do? Uh, here I'll create one reference variable for random. Random. Okay. Now here is the crux. We'll start reading from the last element and we'll swap that element with the uh, with the element which we select randomly the index will select randomly okay so I'll just create a for loop here and we have to start from the last element so we'll do length minus one while i is greater than zero i minus minus now we'll uh, randomly pick index from zero to i Take one J and one random next int i plus one. Now the swapping part will go here. I'll take one temporary variable. And this is the very basic swapping technique using third variable. We all know that we have done this several times. Array of i is equals to yes you're right array of j and then obviously the array of j is equals to the temp after this we'll just uh, just want to print the random array sys out i should have run that for loop and then loop through the array but i just want to keep it simple it's only the display part so what i'll do is arrays I'll use a method called to string. Okay, and here I'll pass the array. Okay, just to save the time, I'm doing this on line number 17. Now goes the main method. Let's quickly define an array. Okay, I'll declare an array and just uh, randomly giving some numbers. I think eight digits are enough. length is equals to array dot length and then we'll call this method called randomize pass the array and the length save the code i hope imports have been done automatically yes 
let's run the code and see send documents what happened but it's not showing me okay this has to be I'm typing cd i don't know why then then we'll just run it and see the output see yeah this permutation will do it again so every time you run this program you will get a different permutation so what you can do just not to do it manually every time just put this in uh, this array just put this algorithm in some code or maybe some sorting algorithm like the last time we saw one algorithm called uh, this bogo quantum bogo sort in that we also use this shuffle sort shuffle alg shuffle algorithm so you can think about the use cases okay so this is the basic part here is the crux which actually swaps the elements which actually uh, creates the permutation so there is nothing much to discuss here pretty quick and simple no rocket science so you can think of the use cases of this algorithm and let me know so that part i leave it to you you do the research and you see the use cases so in the next video we'll cover some other out of the box algorithms and thank you so much for watching this video guys see you in the next video take care